Hi there, welcome to my video on how to create a bundle for your membership site. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create bundles, uh, different level bundles for your subscription and membership site. So the idea behind this is that um, sometimes when you run a membership site, you don't just want to run a general membership site. Um, if you have looked at some examples of different kinds of membership uh, pricing out there, a lot of different uh, people offer membership tiers. So that could be like gold, silver, blonde, uh, gold, silver, bronze. Uh, sometimes you have different names, which is, you know, gold, and then you have platinum, and you have something else. But uh, the idea is that you can create uh, different tiers. Um, this allows you to maximize uh, the subscriptions uh, pricing so that you can generate different revenue options for your business. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, let's look at the example of gold, silver, and bronze. Uh, so the idea of three tiers. So each bundle will have access to different courses. So a uh, silver tier may have access to uh, videos and uh, maybe uh, gold will have the ultimate uh, premium content uh, with more videos um, and bronze is more just kind of like at the lowest tier, just a, a starter investment. So you get a couple videos that you can um, watch every month. Uh, this is great for different kinds of businesses. So you could run a coaching business where um, different tiers uh, unlock different kinds of content and bonuses and perks. So maybe the bronze is just access to a library of videos. Uh, silver is a library of videos plus uh, some extra bonuses and a monthly uh, group coaching call. And uh, gold, for example, could offer like three calls a month. So uh, those are some examples that you can uh, consider uh, when uh, designing your membership business. Uh, but let's just look at uh, these uh, different bundles that I've set up. So I've set up a gold, silver, and bronze tiers. And the idea is like uh, you want to fill out everything. I haven't fill every like out of the course card images, but uh, let's just take a look at how you would actually set up the membership pricing. So let's just look at silver, for example. In my uh, silver uh, tier pricing, I will have access to these two courses. Um, and then I can, in the pricing tab, go and uh, offer different kinds of pricing. So let's just say, like, you know, someone's interested in upgrading to the silver tier from bronze. And you want to give them the option to try it out um, before they commit to the upgrade. What you could do is a couple things is one, click on the free trial period. And instead of month, I would uh, suggest offering like a weekly, like a seven day uh, free trial. The reason why I suggest offering a seven day free trial because it's really a commitment and it's a good way to get people motivated and invested. If you offer a longer trial, well, people kind of drag on and they don't really uh, consume the content or utilize the membership as much. And so then it's kind of um, not as effective towards converting uh, potential subscribers to this new uh, tier. So uh, you could <clears throat> offer a seven day free trial. And then after the free trial, you could say, well, I'm going to charge you um, $50 for the silver tier. Uh, like bronze could be like 25, uh, silver could be 50, and then gold, which is like the ultimate top tier, could be like $100 a month. Uh, but so the way this is set up is that a person will have access to try the silver tier out for seven days. And then afterwards, it's $50 every month. And so I think this is a really effective and simple way to set up your membership uh, bundle pricing. Now, if you didn't want to do it that way, you could also say, um, you could also just uh, decide not to offer a free trial and say, well, if you've already experienced the bronze tier, then if you want to upgrade to the silver tier, then it is 50 bucks a month. Uh, but if you uh, go back uh, to the idea of you could offer a free trial for seven days, uh, that is uh, commonly in the membership space, uh, a good way to just um, get started. 
And then if you wanted to do a custom payment, so this is where students will really uh, get the chance to pay the amount. Uh, they just directly pay into the first um, month and you can customize this and call this, you know, you can offer them a discount and um, say it's 40 bucks. So, so with this uh, custom first payment, uh, you may offer a different pricing for students who are upgrading. So they would pay $40 instead of the normal $50 uh, because you want to offer an incentive and discount for existing uh, members to upgrade from bronze to silver. Now, if you decided you could even go further with this uh, payment um, pricing and subscription pricing by going to a monthly payment plan. Uh, this will be a little bit, uh, this will really depend on what kind of content you offer for this pricing. So for example, let's say instead of selling, you know, the course at $500 with this monthly payment plan, uh, people will have access to the course uh, for a course of like, you know, three months. So you could do like, let's just say normally the course is uh, $500, but you want to offer it in terms of subscription uh, around uh, 130, I'm not great with this uh, breakdown, but like as an example, 135 uh, for a total of three months. So the idea is that you're splitting this uh, course that would normally be charged, you would normally charge someone 500, uh, now you want to split that up into three um, months of payments. Uh, and so they would get access to the course at 135 uh, for three months. Now, uh, I s give you an example of 135, but you'll want to sort of factor in that um, uh, payment fees. Uh, so Stripe and PayPal, there is a, a fees every time someone runs uh, is charged. So you want to build that into your pricing because otherwise um, you're really not going to really receive the whole $500. And so uh, that's a way of factoring in the cost of doing business. And then you want to set the uh, enrollment uh, duration. So uh, because this is a subscription and membership, uh, these are uh, for at least three months. So splitting that course uh, into three months, then you want to divide or not divide, but you want to factor in how many days uh, three months will be. So if one month has 30 days, so three days would be, they will be enrolled in this membership plan for 90 days. And then you can say, uh, you can give this uh, button a label and say, uh, join now. Uh, you can play around with the different text. I like to say join now, but you could say buy now or uh, join the insider club. There's just a lot of different ways that you can play with words. And so that's just a uh, option to set up uh, your membership bundle pricing uh, to sort of tailor it for um, maximizing sales, but also uh, retaining customers. Because um, oftentimes with memberships, um, if you want to look at the example of streaming business, um, the biggest challenge is that people will sign up for a month and then watch what they need and then uh, churn and or uh, uh, cancel their account after the first month because they've gotten everything they need. So that's something to consider that with uh, memberships and uh, subscription pricing is that there is that kind of common problem of people churning and or canceling their subscription after a few months. And it can be very tiring and uh, very challenging then to have to uh, go back to the drawing board to sort of think about how to keep customers uh, subscribed, what kind of bonuses, what kind of content, what kind of incentives uh, do you offer to uh, keep them uh, as members rather than having to lose them as customers and then find new customers, which takes time and um, time is money. So. I hope that video, this video is helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment, subscribe, like, and um, give me any feedback. Uh, thanks again.